produced by Youth for Christ from the nation of Romania. In 2004, we began sending teams to Romania. And the best we can figure, we sent probably 11 or 12 teams or more. Multiple trips. Our children's pastor led most of them. She went there seven times. What happened in 2003, 2002? God began to use an evangelist named Jeff Collins. He lives in Palestine, Texas. Very unusual man. Mighty man of God in the regions of Transylvania where the gypsies live. Transylvania. And around the area of Apatza and along a railroad, gypsy villages. And God used him incredible to bring a lot of people to salvation. And confirmation came through signs, wonders, and miracles and resistance. Some amazing stories that came out of that. And so uh, Laura, our children's pastor, led the way in leading teams, multiple teams. And I, as I said, 11 or 12, Gypsy Schultz went on some of those trips. In fact, she went there on her own trip for three months. Gypsy, uh, Gypsy. Judy Schultz, can you stand? <laughs> Let's show Judy some love. One year, we sent over 600 shoe boxes direct to Romania. We didn't go through Samaritans first. Another year, we teamed up with a church in Tatum, Texas, and since 1,700 shoeboxes, equipping the evangelists that were there, the new believers to have tools to work with to bless people. We also teamed up with a medical clinic, a Rock Medical Ministry, based out of Fort Worth. And in 2013, we sent a truckload of Croc shoes, 4,000 pairs, and boots, and collected hundreds of coats on more than one occasion for distribution. On these trips is where we really got to know Zuzana Lowe, who's now based in Croatia. And we helped with a well, we helped with a water system at a church in Apatza. We gave them a brand new Mac. We helped them buy a pickup truck and a van. So God is good, give yourselves a hand. Thank you so much. So in the midst of these trips, a young man from France appeared serving in this ministry that was reaching out to the gypsies, named J.P. Longeon. And he is with us today, Jean-Philippe. He married one of those gypsies. She married a beautiful Elisabetta. We call her Ellie. Can we just show some appreciation to them for coming all this way as they come and greet us? This is them with their family. Come on up. Jean-Philippe. And Elisabetta Longeon. Good job. That was my job. friend. Thank you very much. Très bien, très bien, très bien. Well, I guess we came here this morning to thank the church for everything you did. Romania, uh, you changed my uh, wife's life, and I think she wants to say a few words. Hi. I want to thank you for everything what you do in the past. And it's so great to be here in person to thank you. It's amazing how many lives you changed in that period. And I was one of them. In Romania, people doesn't know to give too much love because they didn't grow with that. And I was the girl who didn't receive too much love. And when church sent teams, I received so much love from that teams where they come. And I want to thank you so much for that. I received love and I want to give love back to the children what does not have yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I came to Romania, I saw that girl, and we got married. <laughs> and then uh, we wondered what to, what to do next. And Useful Christ asked us to lead Useful Christ Romania. And I asked them, okay, what are you guys doing in Romania? And at that time, it was nothing happening. So it was just both of us and another guy. And we said, okay, we're going to try for a year. So we've tried. It's been 12 years that we're trying for a year. And... Uh, <laughs> God has blessed the ministry. Now we're doing youth ministry. So the video you see is one, was one of the camp we did during the summer. 
We are now reaching young people in nine different cities of Romania. We're doing weekly works and we're doing a lot of summer camps. We have hired now 30 staff and missionaries who are working full times in the country to preach gospel. And so, yeah, praise the Lord for this and thank you uh, for that. You could see, you can see here a picture we took a month ago. We had a general assembly, so we gathered the staff and the board, and uh, this is the team that we serve. And uh, I was praying what to tell you this morning, and I remember a story I used to tell to kids. So I hope your heart is still like it. <laughs> Just, that would be a kid's story. The story is about different robes in a village. And there are all kinds of robes going to church, to school, playing basketball. But one of them, <laughs> He's crying every morning. <laughs> she's crying because she's too small. And she said, God, life is too hard. I don't know how to make it. And every night, as she's going to sleep, she had the same dream. So all the ropes are going to sleep. This is the way ropes are sleeping in Romania, actually. <laughs> and when they sleep, my little rope has the dream, the dream to be right like the other ones. She's not small anymore. She's not tiny anymore. But when, when she wakes up in the morning, what happened? She's small again. And one day she got so tired, she said, I'm going to talk to God. Maybe he can do something about it. So she's walking for 40 days and she's knocking at God's door. God said, come on in, come on. God takes in the arms and says, what? what do you want? And uh, the resort say, I can ask anything. Yes, of course, I'm God. Just ask and it will be given to you. And the little rope say, I want to be strong. I want to be like the other ones, very strong. <clears throat> ready. God look at her and say, I could make you so strong, but this is me who created you like this. And I want you to stay like this. Actually, where's my big one? I will explain you your dream. Every night, what's happening? When the big rope is sleeping, and when you are there, look at what's happening. This is no magic. This is no trick. This is me asking the big ropes to partner with you. And then together you can do great things. <laughs> and this is our story. <laughs> We're not big missionaries. We're not great men. We're just some missionaries trying to listen to God and trying to partner that could help us do what God asks us to do. The ministry is too big for us. <laughs> and we're now in the stage for three weeks praying who God will send to partner with us so that together we can reach Romania for Christ. So thanks again. And if you need more information, we will stay at the table. Yeah. Maybe I pray for you. So God, thank you so much for Generation Church. Thank you so much for what they did for us, for Romania. I pray that you will bless them for this. And you will lead them in all ways. We love you so much. Amen. Event went on four of those trips to Romania. Our daughter went on one, and I got to go on one. And so... Uh, it's just amazing what God is doing. When JP went there, it's because God sent him. He didn't want to go there. Who knows? God sometimes calls us to do things we don't want to do. But now he is so blessed and so glad he went. <laughs> so you do not know what's lying behind the door of obedience. So take note. They'll have an information table outside after service. Get to know them. Gather some information and Pray for them by all means, and if you want to become a partner, you can do that as well.